We're in Manhattan's East Village. We are at a restaurant called Tome, run by chef owner Thomas Chen. He has made a dish that I think is the best evocation of Chinese roasted meat. It's a pork belly that he's made into a kind of a terrine and then lay it on a supremely crisp pork skin. It really is one of the great pork dishes, in my opinion, to basically make the perfect pig bite. So let's go inside, let's see how it comes together, and more importantly, how it tastes. So it's a, it's a three-day process, and we use a birdshot pork. What I love about this dish is that it's very sort of comforting. It's pork belly, it's very sort of homey food but the technique that you use is really like, nobody could have come up with this who didn't have a really strong culinary background. So we take the, the belly, dry brine it and salt, and we rub ginger and garlic into it. And throughout that cooking process, it moistens the meat. We pour duck fat over it, and that's like another layer of flavor. And then it gets cooked in the oven at a really low temperature. So you confit it, basically? Yeah, confit for 15 hours. Wow, so yeah. that really breaks everything yeah. down. It just becomes, you can just pull it apart with your yeah. hands at that point. So at that point, we discard the skin where the meat lays. Mm -hmm. All the gelatin is kind of scraped off. After it's cooked, you're left with a skin that doesn't have that chewy feeling that you get from a pork. Do we pull the meat? Uh, we press it on the skin, and then it, it goes into the walk-in. Obviously, when it cools, the fat congeals, right? So it'll be solid? Yeah. Then we cut it into cubes. Uh, each order gets about 10 cubes. And then we render it down in a pan. Okay, well here we go. This three day process ends up with this magnificent feast laid out before us. So I think I should just, just get right in there and just try the first piece of pork. What do you think? Mmm, you hear that crunch? So many layers of pork going on in that. It's not chunks of meat, but it doesn't completely fall apart like a mousse. It's got some, it's got some character to it, it's got some bite. And what that does is really convey the different parts of the pig in a really nice way. You're getting really different flavors. I keep going back to the skin because in a weird kind of way, it's so crisp on the outside, it's like the skin on Peking duck. So it is kind of very referential to a lot of classic Chinatown food. And with the resulting contrast of that really supple, tender inner flesh, except that instead of duck, you get the flavor of pork, which in my opinion is more profound. But I think that once we add some of these other condiments, we're gonna kind of change the, uh, the dynamic of the dish. And it becomes, you know, a very different experience. This is a sambal, chilies, lime juice. It's spicy, it's gonna give it a nice kick. Mmm. So that adds a really nice acidic punch. There's also a little bit of heat. It's not overpowering. It's not even as strong as like, like maybe like a vinegar-based hot sauce might be, but it does really help to sort of counterbalance the extreme richness of that. What I really appreciate about this dish is the time and care that goes into it. I mean, three days, it's an arduous process. Really, it's a lot of work for what is essentially about 10 bites of food at the end of the day. But I think the, what he's done is really quite unique in my experience. He's really synthesized the best parts of those dishes, whether it's Peking duck, whether it's pork belly, whether it's spare ribs, and sort of distilled them into single bites that are just the perfect bites of pork. You know, pork belly is implicitly a very rich dish. Um, and there's so many different things you can do with it. But I, what I like about this is that he's using pork belly to evoke the rest of the animal, if that makes sense. Like, this doesn't really taste like bacon. It doesn't really taste like ribs. It doesn't really taste like pork chop, but it kind of tastes like all of them at once, if that makes sense. Every bite is like the perfect part of the pig. You get the crunchiness, you get the salt, you get that tender, sweet flesh. And it really is quite sweet tasting just on its own because that's the nature of pork flesh. So my recommendation to you is if you are a lover of pork belly, get down to Tuomi, try the pig out for two. You don't have to share it. That's just a recommendation on the menu. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna sit here and finish this off and we'll see you on the next episode of The Meat Show. Put in there, not a huge amount. A bit of lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil. I mean, this is, this is based on...